I'm Paul Zigo. This is Cinema for Cynics. When I was younger, I wasn't a big fan of movies. I was, believe it or not, the kind of kid that would rather run around outside chasing butterflies with a stick or some shit. That all changed for me at six years old when I grabbed my parents' copy of 1968's Night of the Living Dead and stuffed it in the VCR. I was, to put it mildly, deeply disturbed by the movie. The idea of zombies had never really taken root in me until then, and it hasn't left me since. To this day, as a grown man, I have a visceral aversion to graveyards. George Romero is to blame. George passed away just a few days ago. Yeah, I know, insert zombie joke here. Not that George wouldn't appreciate them, I know he would, but his death left me feeling a little out of sorts. I genuinely believe that I might have taken a different path through life had I not been exposed to his work at the age I was. At first, I vowed never to watch the movie again. In fact, just seeing the side of the box amongst our small collection of VHS tapes was enough to trigger a nightmare in me the following night. I couldn't stay away for long, though. For some reason, I wanted to feel that terror again. I was obsessed. My habit of re-watching films never left me, nor has my desire to be frightened at the movies, but Night of the Living Dead was the first. Without it, who knows? I might still be chasing butterflies. I might be a fucking world-renowned entomologist specializing in migratory butterflies. Thanks a lot, George. What keeps me coming back? What keeps tons of people coming back to this low-budget, black-and-white zombie flick? I watched it again to refresh my memory, not that it needed much refreshing. I won't speak for everyone else, but for me, it's the atmosphere. I mean, you have to be willing to put yourself in a world without cell phones or the internet to really understand Night of the Living Dead. There was a time on this planet when if you were alone, you were really fucking alone. Multiply that the farther out of town you get. Night of the Living Dead takes place in that mythical middle of nowhere that barely exists anymore, at least not in the first world. In comparison today, a person on foot in the zombie apocalypse might as well be in the fucking jungle. The long country road that serves as the movie's opening shot serves to underscore this. Romero lingers on this shot, letting us see how long it takes for the car to cover this country distance. Right away, he's letting you know these people are utterly alone. No cops, no cameras, no neighborhood watch. The opening scene with Barbara and her doomed brother Johnny visiting their grandfather's gravesite instills more dread in me than any other in the film. As a kid, I would imagine ways for it to go differently. If only Johnny felt like she did, if only he'd gotten up a bit earlier, if only he knew what was shambling in their direction. In the end, though, Johnny bites it a victim of his own lack of suspicion. Maybe that's why I can't walk through a cemetery without being on high alert. I don't want to be caught joking around when the man in the black suit shuffles my way. Once Barbara reaches the farmhouse, the movie becomes very claustrophobic. All of that distance we could see while the sun was up was soon blotted out by the real country dark that descends. And before long, what little light is cast from the house is swarming with meandering, hungry dead. How many more are out there, just beyond the reach of the few lights? Scoffers like to claim that the slowness of the zombies makes escape a simple thing, that Ben and Barbara and the others holed up inside could have just walked out. Walked out to where? To what end? There isn't a Walmart up the block, and the two cops in town are either busy or dead. You see, if you're not familiar with firearms, these babies can go off. <laughs> now... As bleak as things are outside the farmhouse, the more dangerous enemy lurks inside with our heroes. Romero knew that the real enemy is us. He just took it a step further than most because the mass of dead outside is also us. We can't work together for the greater good inside, and we can't surmount the anonymous, uncaring, all-consuming masses outside. As things break down inside, the sea of dead humanity outside breaks in. In the end, nobody wins. Even if the zombies have been temporarily routed, 
the pictures and the credits show that they've won anyway. The world they leave behind is not one that I'd sign up to live in, and once again, the problem is us. Not everything that Romero touched was gold, but I know that I'll miss his perspective and his singular focus. If the zombie apocalypse does break out, I'm making a beeline for George Romero's grave. If my fate is getting eaten, it's the least I can do to give the king of the zombies a hearty meal. Night of the Living Dead is a fucking masterpiece, and you should obviously watch it. And if you enjoyed this video, check out the other reviews on my channel, throw me a sub, share this with your friends, and maybe mow my lawn while you're at it. Just kidding, I don't, I don't even have a lawn. I live in an apartment.